Hello YouTube. Today I will show you how to create your very own website ran locally using the Apache 2 web server in your Ubuntu operating system which we installed in the previous tutorial. I expect you to know nothing at all but I assume you have Ubuntu installed already. I've already installed the Apache 2 web server and all the dependencies. I meant to show you how, but the mouse highlighting started to annoy me, so I had to re-record. I've also installed an editor called Genie and I will recommend you to do the same. So let's get started. Go to your package manager located in the administrator menu inside the system menu. It's called Synaptic Package Manager. Once there search Apache 2 as a one word, and click on the checkbox in front of the line that says Apache 2. Select, mark for installation and then accept all the dependencies. Then search for Genie and do the same for that as well. Once done, click on the button that says apply, and finish the installation. Go to your desktop and create a new folder called my site as a one word. Go inside the folder and create an empty document and name it as index.html. Now right click on the index.html and open it with Genie. You can also open the index.html in a web browser if you want to but so far there is nothing written in it. Now let's create our index page. That is a page that has been configured in Apache 2 to load automatically once the folder has been accessed and it must be named as index.html. You should check the w3.org website to understand what the first two lines in the page mean. I won't be clarifying it more than that. Note that I forgot the closing greater than sign from the end of the second line but that got fixed later on. The tags are words with less than sign, tag greater than sign, in example less than sign, HTML, greater than sign, starts the HTML document when less than sign, slash, HTML, greater than sign, ends it. The head tag contains different information about the site such as keywords. We will however only put our site's title inside the head tags and nothing else. The body tag contains the actual body of the website. The H1 tag is heading tag and the P tag is a paragraph tag. Remember all the tags needs to be closed. Once you're done writing the index.html document, save and open it in your web browser, or like I had it already open just refresh the page. You can view the source code, like I did. Or the quick way by pressing Ctrl key, plus, you now it is time to set up the website in the Apache 2 web server using name-based virtual hosting. Open your GNOME terminal, just in case you don't remember how. Alt plus F2 and type GNOME-terminal or go via the menus, like I did. Go to your super user account by typing sudo space as you enter your password. Copy the my site folder into slash v a r slash www by typing C P space dash capital R space desktop the capital D slash my site space slash V A R slash W W W 
change the permissions to 777 by typing C H M O D space dash R space 777 space slash V A R slash www slash my site there is an index.html in the folder already but don't mind about it go to the apache2 folder located in slash etc slash apache2 and open file called ports.conf by typing nano ports.conf Move down at the line where it says name virtual host asterisk colon 80 using your arrow buttons in the keyboard. And put the number sign in front of it. That will comment the line out so Apache 2 will not use it. Press control button, plus, X, then, Y, and, enter to confirm the saving of the file. Go to sites, dash, available. By now you should know how to do that. And create a new file called my site by typing nano my site. Type what I have in the file and save the file by pressing control button plus X then Y and enter to confirm the saving. Now we are almost done with creating our first website. We just need to edit the hosts file located in slash etc. Open it with nano by typing nano space slash etc slash hosts and change the first line so it will be the same as mine. Keeping in mind that the second line is your computer's name, so don't put my computer's name on it. That will prevent Apache 2 from prompting and could not determine the server's fully qualified domain name error save the hosts file and now we can enable the website we just created by typing a two then site as a one word and my site hit enter then slash etc slash init dot d slash apache 2 space Reload. Now if you browse to www.mysite.def, the address we specified in the MySite document we created in the sites, dash, available folder we get an error saying the page could not be found. This happens because we did not specify the domain name in the hosts file. So, let's go back to the slash, etc, slash, hosts and add my site dot dev and www dot my site dot dev at the end of the first line save and go to refresh the page now you have created your first very own fully working website in your very own Apache to web server Remember to subscribe for new videos. Thanks for watching.